Well, she stood by her man through scandal after scandal, but this week Elizabeth Edwards finally had enough. She announced her separation from former presidential candidate John Edwards after he admitted fathering a child with videographer Real Hunter. When it's healthy to stay and work through problems in a relationship and when it's time to move on is the subject for today's Health Watch. Joining us, clinical psychologist Wendy Walsh. Wendy, good morning to you. Hi, how are you? Good. You say that we are a culture that believes in sometimes just throwing in the towel a little bit too Way early. Way too early. And, you and know, why do you say that? Well, the nice thing now is that we're in a recession and people can't afford to get divorced. The divorce rate's actually lower than it's been in 30 years. Yeah. And, and so now we're having to figure out, really look at our relationships and get through these bumpy times and stick it out. So is the relationship bad? Is it salvageable? Is the big question on so many people's minds. Yeah, let's talk about though the, the toxicity of some relationships because there are three key factors that you have that you say, okay, folks, it is time to move on. Domestic violence being one, chronic drug and alcohol abuse being two, sex and gambling addictions being three. Now, are those the big three? Right. Now, this is if that partner does not want to change, is not willing to change, and the family unit becomes a toxic environment in which to raise children in or for the spouse. Um, but if there is somebody who wants to work on their problems, I'm all about keeping families together. I want to make that clear. But is that basically what it's all about? No matter how toxic a relationship you're in, if there is that possibility of working things out, do you advise people should give it a shot? Absolutely, especially if there are children involved. Relationships make us stronger. They make us healthier, physically healthier, emotionally healthier. Relationships are good for us. But where is that time? Where's that moment? Like, let's say there's people at home right yeah. now. Yeah. My husband or my wife's had an affair. When do you get to that moment where you've been through therapy, you've done this, you've done this counseling, that count? When do you just say, okay, enough's enough, that's it? It's a very complicated answer, and it's really different for everybody's relationship. But, you know, if if we can remember what brought the couple together, what were their goals, and what feelings of love did they have at the beginning, those things can help sustain them through the bumpy times. Another cool thing is, do you know couples that go through a bumpy period are actually less likely to divorce five years later? If they, we, they were visited in a study five years later, and they found that if they pushed through struggles, they got such a sense of empowerment and accomplishment that they actually said, well, why are we going to quit now? How about relationships where you're just looking, you're grasping at straws almost, you're looking for that little piece that says, okay, maybe as bad as it is, yeah. maybe it's worth sticking around for. What are some signs that people in bad relationships should look for? To well, I like to say when the uh, rewards outnumber the punishments, then people will always stay, even if the rewards are just a little bit over the edge, yep. So, which is actually a dangerous situation that sometimes happens in domestic violence. It's a very complicated thing, domestic violent relationships, because somebody's actually having a wonderful father in the house, great Christmases, helping to raise kids, except, oops, there's that one time when yep. he gets a little too drunk and something bad happens. Uh, let's talk about some, uh, when we mentioned them here in the open of this segment here, Tiger Woods, mm -hmm. uh, John Edwards, these are relationships you, you talk about toxic. It doesn't yeah. get much worse than this. Uh, um, with the wives involved here, I mean, what do you say with, I guess, you've got this well, two cheaters and... Yeah, let's start with Elizabeth. First of all, she's got to think about her health right now more yeah. than anything. And if this, if divorcing is going to cause her less stress than having him around and being exposed to this, then I'd say she's got to think about her physical health at the moment. Now, as far as Tiger Woods is concerned, I really applaud Elin for hanging in there and deciding yeah. not to throw in the towel. There are small children involved here. These yeah. are important factors to consider. But when is it more than just the small children? I mean, he, he obviously, and it's now public, yeah. there were countless women of when she was pregnant, before she was pregnant, after she was pregnant. And I mean, here we talk of the toxicity really is the danger of germs being brought into the family that could yeah. be particularly lethal. So, um, it, you know, everybody deserves a second chance. Everybody yeah. deserves a chance to change. Relationships are about learning to get through the bumps, learning to have forgiveness and show love. Now, obviously, she's going to put very clear boundaries and consequences on what happens in the future. Yeah. But I applaud her for trying to tame the tiger. I think it's a great thing. Don't throw in the towel just yet if it's okay. not the end of the road. All right, Dr. Wendy Walsh, thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you. E, let's go over to you. And of uh, course, for more tips on improving your relationship, go to our health partner, our uh, partner in health coverage, webmd.com and search happy couples. Or just now, come to me.